Hi, I'm Brad Hitter, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, today I'm gonna do a small review on my uh, compound bow. So I'm shooting a Diamond Infinite Edge. It's a hunting bow. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best bow you'll ever buy, and money, the best one money can buy, because. Uh, it's very adjustable. It can be shot from uh, by uh, from kids to as up uh, as uh, grown ups or elderly and so on. Uh, the draw length it can be adjusted from uh, 13 inches to 31 inches. The draw weight can be adjusted from uh, as low as five pounds to as high as 70 pounds. Uh, it has a 31 inch axle to axle and. Uh, the manufacturer says the IBO speed is about 310 FPS and uh, it's got a 75% let off. But um, in, uh, in my bow exactly, I don't really feel those that 75% let off and uh, I've measured it uh, and uh, it doesn't. Uh, have really 70 pounds of draw weight at full draw. Uh, sorry, uh, when uh, when drawn, um, the poundage problem I think is m uh, mostly because the limb bolts don't screw in all the way down, and uh, therefore there's a bit of a little bit of space between the limb, uh, the both of the both the upper and lower limb, and the bow. Therefore, I don't really get 70, uh, 70 pounds of draw weight. I actually got uh, uh, 67, but uh, that's really not a problem for me. Uh, since I've set it uh, down at 60 pounds of draw weight. And about the, uh, about the let off, uh, if it really had a 75% let off, uh, given you set uh, your... Uh, set it up at 70 pounds uh, at uh, uh, maximum draw, uh, draw length you should feel like uh, 70 at uh, like 17 and a half pounds of draw weight but uh, I don't think if I don't think uh, if this is really just my bow's problem or it's specific to all the diamond infinite edge bows but uh, in the end trust me it really doesn't bother me so back to the bows review um, as i said it comes ready to shoot the only two accessories needed to really shoot it and enjoy it are a couple of arrows and a release what are the arrows i'm sh i'm uh, shooting are diamond infinite uh, sorry are the uh, eastern the uh, power flight arrows uh, they come in with a field point a 400 uh, 400 spin and uh, 8.5 8.4 uh, 8 grains per inch uh, these ones are um, custom uh, custom fledged by my uh, close friend Catalina Adrian uh, this one is fledged with uh, extra small uh, uh, extra small veins this is its quiver an octane quiver and uh, uh, the other thing you need to really shoot and enjoy it are a release I have two these are uh, my two releases the trigger release and the thumb release I like them both I feel comfortable shooting both of them this is my first one actually and uh, let me tell you a little bit of uh, a little bit of secret when buying a release especially a trigger release be sure uh, to ask your local bow shop if the release you want really fits uh, really fits the your bow's power your bow's poundage because i didn't do this when i bought this release it cost me uh, uh, about no more than twenty dollars, and uh, in time the trigger gave in since it was made out of an alloy, 
kind of some sort of aluminium, magnesium alloy. Uh, it wasn't made of out of, out of uh, iron or steel, and it gave in, thus resulting in me almost knocking uh, knocking myself out five times. So it wasn't just once or twice. It was five times. Five times this trigger gave in, and I hit myself. Trust me, it wasn't nice. It was nasty. And the other thing you don't really need, but you should buy, is a set of Allen keys. This is a Gorilla Grip set. So I hope uh, you can, the camera can focus on the markings. It has nine Allen screws. Allen keys, sorry, except for the biggest one of them, the other uh, eight you can use on any bolt on the bow you want. Um, again, it doesn't bother me. I have, if one Allen key doesn't fit in, I have eight others that do. So, uh, another accessory that you can buy. Uh, is a stabilizer. I uh, that uh, that uh, the bow also doesn't come uh, equipped with. Uh, now, depending on what you want to do with the bow, meaning go hunting or um, go into taking taking part in championships, tournaments, etc. Uh, you can buy. A shorter, a shorter um, or a longer stabilizer, but again, it's actually up to you. So my stabilizer looks like this. It's uh, it measures about thirty centimeters in length, uh, and it weighs about. 300 uh, 400 uh, grams so uh, overall this is quite a great bow I like it um, and uh, about the speed as I said uh, as I've mentioned earlier the IBO speed uh, was measured at 310 FPS uh, that means uh, about 95 meters per second or 340 to the kilometer. So when you ever hear again uh, the speed measured in FPS, think about something cool. Uh, for example, try to calculate, uh, try to work out uh, the other units of measurement, not only FPS. So, for example, if you hear something, a bow is a bow speed, a bow's IBO speed is set up, set up at uh, 400 FPS. Uh, try to turn those FPS into meters per second, and there you'll go to kilometers per hour. So you'll have an immense, uh, great speed. If three, 310 FPS means 342 kilometers per hour that means that 400 FPS means a whole lot more than 400 and uh, probably 420 kilometers per hour so that's quite a, uh, a great speed a great amount of speed quite it's quite a fast bow so if you ever thought about uh, doing uh, a trick shot uh, involving you shooting your bow uh, and in the same time a sports car uh, drives by you and uh, you try to set up, uh, you try to establish which, uh, which is faster, the car, the sports car or the arrow, uh, trust me, <laughs> it's the arrow. I know there's been... Uh, some sort of test on Discovery Channel and uh, stuff like that and uh, trust me but trust me the arrow is faster than the car so overall this is a great bow if you want to upgrade it you can upgrade the cams you can upgrade the limbs 
almost anything on it but if you do that you won't be shooting the diamond infinite edge anymore and you'll be shooting just another bow deck actually that didn't sound quite right you'll shoot uh, bow deck something though so as a personal request don't upgrade anything unless necessary it's it this is one of the best bows you'll ever buy and probably you'll buy once and for all you won't feel the need to sell it in the future so this is my diamond infinite edge thanks for watching i'm brought together and uh, we'll see you soon bye bye